Now, you may remember yesterday we told you about a computer whiz kid. Well, today, for our final story, we have another technology-related story, and that's because it moves faster than a speeding bullet these days. And it's just as much a race to keep up for those providing the wizardry as it is for the rest of us who use it. Today, though, uh, a Midlands company launched what it hopes will be a market leader in the latest cyber sensation. It's called cloud computing. What on earth does that all mean? Andy Bevan explains. So you're happily working away on your laptop when, without warning, this happens. Yes, the dreaded blue screen of death. And what that can often mean is that this, your computer's hard drive where everything is stored, has died, taking its contents, your irreplaceable information, to its grave. Hardly a cue for applause, but this IT crowd does have something to celebrate. A new data storage facility at Newark-on-Trent in Nottinghamshire. The town's MP, Patrick Mercer, is opening the £5 million first phase of the Midlands' largest player in cloud computing. They claim our lives will be transformed by the cloud, but what exactly is it? Well, the cloud is really a posh new name for the internet. And rather than keeping information on your own computer's fallible hard drive, you send it to a remote location or cloud where it's stored by a third party. You can then access your information from anywhere in the world by logging on to your little bit of the cloud, effectively making every computer your computer. Cloud computing is, is, is absolutely the future. Um, in times gone by, people would have their own infrastructure on their premises, they'd run it with an IT department. Today, people buy a hosted service. They buy it on a per-user basis, and all the investment is centralised in a centre like this. This is the control centre here at Newark, and it makes sure that the cloud servers stay online 24 hours a day. There are backups in case of any failure. And in time, your parish newsletters, your job applications, your holiday snaps, even your music collection will be stored somewhere like this. Cloud computing is a global game with global players. Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Salesforce and Apple. But with such big names storing our every digital move, some worry about attacks by hackers and snooping by the company itself. Here in Newark, fingerprint recognition technology ensures only those with full clearance can get into the building and they insist their servers are secure. What we've built here is a house with a secure wall around it and a guard manning the gate. And the only person that can get into that house is the person that owns the house because they will be the only people with the key. For Newark, this means jobs, it means prosperity, and it means the future. We're right at the front now of the, of the curve, the white-hot curve of technology, and I'm extremely proud. Cloud computing is already up and running on many smartphones. Within seconds of snapping this photo in Newark, it's automatically uploaded to the cloud and downloaded to my laptop back home in Birmingham to view later. So the next time this happens, fear not. The cloud will make sure that for every data disaster, there's a silver lining. Andy Bevan, Central Tonight. So, all hail the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big old story. I think I understand all that, yes, actually. No, we, I see, didn't. Whenever, <laughs> we didn't understand all whenever that. Whenever I see things like that, I'm reminded of that commercial where they go up with the pin and chip and it's run on petrol, you know? I, yes. I love that one, I really yes. do. <laughs> we'll get a masterclass from Andy later, yes? Yeah. Anyway, let's, let's settle down to uh, an evening of football. It's 